My name is Gary Miller, and I'm the Associate Executive Director of the Prairie Research Institute, and I'm here today to interview David Morris. David, what is your position? I work at the Geological Survey, and I'm head of the Coal and Petroleum Geology section. So how long have you been at the Geological Survey? I've been here since 1994, so it's been 18 years at 18 this point. Years. I was hired as a petroleum geologist, and my first project was to study a formation in Illinois that produces oil called the Tar Spring Sandstone. And it produces in about half a dozen oil fields, and I studied core and the well logs and mapped out this formation throughout the state and determined what the reservoirs were like. And uh, what was it that attracted you about working for the Geological Survey after being in um, consulting and being in the private sector? In part, uh, the Geologic Survey, I've always worked or enjoyed doing basic research. Um, I had one summer job, I worked for the U.S. Geologic Survey doing field mapping and understanding that. Uh, and I had visions that the Illinois Geologic Survey would have similar uh, public service related projects but still would involve basic science. What are some of the uh, greatest uh, rewards that you've had working at the Geological Survey during the course of your career? I've completed some very interesting and successful research projects on gas storage reservoir fields, oil uh, reservoir characterization studies, uh, the coal bed methane study and sequestration study all were really highlights of my career here and I, I consider as, as good achievements we got some nice publications out of all of those. So how would you say your work has influenced business and industry in Illinois? Well much of the work we're doing on reservoirs encourages an additional and new drilling so that when there's a new discovery uh, industry is pleased to tell us about it. They're willing to share samples, knowing that we could add to their story and help them to produce more effectively and more efficiently. Uh, we put on workshops for industry as many as five or six a year on new technologies as well as Illinois Basin Geology. So we would bring in speakers from, from across the nation that are experts in whether it's hydraulic fracturing, reservoir geology, reservoir engineering, uh, or other new technologies that the industry can apply. What has your, been your uh, involvement with the general public and decision makers during your career at the Geological Survey? We're often uh, responding to the general public. Uh, we get requests at our coal section of people who are wanting to know if their land is undermined. And so whether or not they need to buy uh, subsidence insurance. Um, we also get calls from environmental groups that are interested in pointing, providing their point of view and wondering what we're thinking about things and trying to provide some objective science for those kinds of groups. I think the Geologic Survey offers an incredible opportunity for diverse uh, scientific investigations. I think that we're going to see new frontiers. Uh, some of the latest frontiers are in the area of carbon sequestration and characterizing these formations deep underground that are full of salt water that would be very good targets to put carbon dioxide. We're already involved in a very large scale project at Decatur right now. And I've had the privilege and opportunity to look at some of the oldest sedimentary rocks in the Illinois Basin that came out as cores, but they were at 7,500 feet in depth. And to examine those reservoirs and realize that they have pores, they have permeability, they have storage potential. And we want to understand what that potential might be. Thank you, David, for uh, the interview today. It sounds like you've had a very rewarding and successful career. Thank you for your service to the Geological Survey, your service to the people of Illinois. Well, Gary, it's been a pleasure to be with you today and to, to share my story. And I've certainly enjoyed my career here at the Geological Survey and hope that it provides some excitement and interest for others. So thanks again.